You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some Brian Ball. What's up, Diecast Collectors? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, and today I'm going to bring you guys with another NASCAR Diecast review on this YouTube channel. And it is going to be on a brand new release from the 2019 lineup from Lionel Racing, and it's actually on a Gold Series car, not a NASCAR Authentics car. And um, I just recently picked this car up, or I, uh, more appropriately to say, I just recently ordered this car at uh, one of my local diecast dealers known as Rex Chevy on eBay. Every year I visit him uh, since he goes to, uh, he usually goes to some of my local car shows and motorsport shows around the area. So I decided, hey, you know, since he's my local diecast dealer, I'm going to go ahead and order some stuff from him. So I did. And this was, uh, this is a painting I've been dying to review ever since they re revealed it back in January. And it is going to be on Ryan Priest's 2019 Kroger Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 for JTG Daughtry Racing. This is a beautiful, great looking paint scheme um that i just my god like i just said that once they revealed the paint scheme uh back in january uh with the rest of the jt daughtry cars this right here is an absolute beauty i even saw this car in the 124 scale as well when i was at walker Glen. i was just like man if i didn't have that binging spree if i didn't go on that shopping spree that i did <laughs> at walker Glen, then man could have picked up the 124 version of this car because this paint scheme is really nice i love the american colors on this car and my God, guys, I'm looking forward to go ahead and unbox this car as we're going to do that right now and show you guys a closer look of the Ryan Priest 2019 standard release car. And yes, I just said standard release because this is uh, probably the only Ryan Priest car as far as I know of. I mean, I, I, I mean, who knows? There could be a new pre-order that could be coming out for the Ryan Priest for a Ryan Priest Kroger car, but it could be canceled. But as far as I know, this is the only Ryan Priest car that we got available um, with this new ride from JT Daughtry Racing. And my God, guys, what a beautiful paint team this is, guys. I love the American colors on this. You got the red, the white, and the blue. And, um, well, you know, it's a Lion O car when you got the decals screwed up. Look at that. I mean, <laughs> the paint scheme's not even lined up correctly. Or is that part of the paint scheme? I don't know. Well, that's that's the wonderful Lion O quality that you got right there. But luckily, this is not a rant diecast review because <laughs> I, I mostly just got to... I can't talk crap about this car because this paint scheme is just beautiful. A much more fart. Look at all those paint chips. Look at me, I'm trying to talk about the paint scheme, and what do you know, we got, like, red smudges over here. It's like this car, like, ran over some people, like, on GTA. <laughs> oh, God, I swear, Lionel's defects, man, they just really get me caught off guard. Even my camera doesn't want to focus on this crap. But anyways, back to what I said about, before we got interrupted by those bloody paint chips, this paint scheme is really nice. A much better looking paint scheme compared to uh, its predecessor from last year, which was... Holy crap, Pola, look at that Camaro logo. It's like sideways like shit. Yikes. Even the rookie, uh, even the rookie uh, stripes are just like barely touching the bumper. But that Camaro logo, yikes. So quality control, like usual, is crap. Very crappy. <laughs> but I will say, though, this paint scheme is definitely one of my big favorites guys i mean uh you could basically mistake this car for a uh for a for, for, for a uh, patriotic car guys because man i just really love this it reminds me of uh, the uso car that um not only almendinger drove a few years ago um i think about the 2014 they released that car and i believe bobby levante also drove a scheme like that as well it just reminds me of that a little bit um it, the uso car it had like a, it was like an american flag car and it had a bunch of sponsors on it and kroger and such that was a really cool paint scheme, so I guess that's where they kind of got that vibe from it. I mean, uh, but by far, guys, this is definitely way, and I mean way better looking than the car that we had last year. We're speaking of the devil, here's the uh, NASCAR Authentics car from last year of AJ Allmendinger's car. And right off the bat, guys, I mean, <laughs> I mean, probably the only thing I do not like about this paint scheme uh, from the 2019 version, and uh, my good friend Garrett Diecast Buffet pointed this out. I'm not digging that red stripe over the Kroger logo. It just doesn't really feel right. To be honest with you guys, if they inverted the colors or, you know, take away the red and, I don't know, maybe just, uh, okay, where the red is, that should be blue. And where the blue uh, wards are, probably can make that white. I think that would flow a lot more better, especially with the Kroger logo right on top. But, um, yeah, I guess they dropped that whole click list promotion because eh, <laughs> remember that they, they renamed uh, the whole team last year from 2018 to uh, Kroger click list racing. Jeez, that didn't last long. <laughs> I guess it was just for promotional purposes, but still it's like, oh, geez. 
back to JT Dalton Racing, I see. <laughs> but here's a side by side comparison and on the, the other sides and right off the bat, guys, paint scheme flows so much better. Some people might not like the sponsors on this, but you know what, guys? I absolutely love this car because it reminds me of the classic sponsor game that uh, my good buddy uh, Robbie Noonan of uh, Race Day 2011 used to play on his Target cars. And, you know, since Target's out of motorsports in general, I guess the Kroger cars are the next best thing. So comment below which of these sponsors or sponsors, <laughs> I'm sure you use more than one of these, that you use. Personally, guys, I mean, I don't have a Kroger with me, so I have a Wegmans. But when I'm at Indianapolis, you guys know I'm at Kroger's because they, they also sponsor Ed Carpenter Racing as well for the IndyCar Series. Fun fact, because they are a local sponsor around that area. Velveeta, I don't really eat that kind. I don't really eat box mac and cheese anymore. Breyer's Ice Cream. Can't remember the last time I had Briars. Although I'm a big fan of Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> if you guys have half half baked yet, oh, you're missing out, man. <laughs> uh, Tide, yeah, I do use that cheese it. Ooh, I uh, I still eat cheese it. That's really good. Uh, let's see, Tyson chicken. I'm more of a pur Purdue guy. Bush's beans. God don't mind if I eat more of that. I'll probably get a lot of nauseous gas. And not in the good way. <laughs> on the back, we got, uh, yeah, you know, a lot more blue on this car. And the rookie stripes, of course. And the Camaro logo is actually correct on this. But look at that. Even on the 2018 version, we still get decal errors. I mean, look at that. Look at those uh, stripes right there. Just trying to hug onto that back bumper like it's nothing. And holy crap, bull, look at all these sponsors right here. My God. <laughs> I might have to just zoom in on this just to see all these sponsors. Look at that. We got, oh, we got some attorney sponsors. I guess that's where the Cheerio sponsor went because they dropped Austin Dillon. Um, what, like, shit. Oh, yeah, they went on AJ Almond. Okay, yeah, so they've been on, uh, the Cheerios has been on with JT Daughtry after they left Austin Dillon. So, <laughs> man. But yeah, any of those sponsors that ring a bell to you, uh, feel free to comment below because, you know, we just like playing this game. This game. Did I say scheme or game? I don't know anymore. This is only my first review I've done so far, guys, and uh, I got plenty more to review, so <laughs> wish me the best of luck as hopefully I don't go insane doing more of these. And here is the side-by-side -side comparison on the other side with the cheese it logo literally getting cut right in half. I mean, it's not as bad as uh, <laughs> not as bad as Diecast Buffet's uh, cheese it logo, which looks like it was uh, it, it looked like it was in a wave pool or something. It was just like you know just whooshing around like crazy. But yeah, guys, feel free to comment below which of the JT Daughtry cars is your personal favorite. To be honest with you guys, I mean, uh, Chris Bush's doesn't look too bad. His Bush's car was you know pretty nice looking uh, last year, but I must say, guys. This paint scheme is beautiful. I, like I said, I think the only thing that I would recommend changing is that they get rid of that red line and, I don't know, just make it blue with white uh, letters. I think that'd be amazing. But yeah, Ryan Priest, guys, I even forgot to talk about the driver as well, guys. I mean, uh, yeah, this is a beautiful paint scheme, but Ryan Priest, man, um, he didn't really have much good highlights so far this year. I mean, it is his rookie year, even though Daniel Hamburg's like kicking his rear right now in the rookie standings, but, um, you know. <laughs> we'll probably get, get a much more better rookie of the year standings for next year with Chris Rebell. Cause we all know he's going to the 95 next year. Um, sucks for De Benedetto, but Ryan priest guys. I mean, uh, the only highlight I could probably think of is, uh, that Kane N race that he had a snowmo where, which technically I think he should have won. <laughs> Apparently he got black flagged at the end of that race. Cause he jumped the restart, which yeah. And Ryan Priest was pretty upset, guys. So that was some misfortunate luck. And if you guys were at that snowman race, I and mean, before you comment below uh, your guys' thoughts and opinions about that situation, because, man, I know it's pretty late in the game to talk about that, but I uh, thought it would be appropriate to go in and do that since, you know, that was basically the highlight so far of his uh, that, that has happened so far. But who knows? Maybe we'll get a rivalry with Ryan Priest or something, or maybe he'll pull off a top 10 or a couple wins very soon um, in the not-so-distant future. Um, but, yeah. Personally, guys, if you are a big fan of Ryan Priest, especially around the Connecticut area, Connecticut area, I highly, highly recommend getting this car. Um, and overall, guys, just this paint team is just beautiful. I can't say anything else about that. But feel free to comment below what else you guys got to say as I'm about to wrap up this NASCAR diecast review of the Ryan Priest 2019 Kroger Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. And if you guys enjoyed this review along with other diecast reviews, feel free to hit that subscribe button and comment below and anything else you got to do in between so I can keep making more of these wonderful, exciting, and interesting diecast reviews. But anyways, guys, this has been OBB, the diecast news guy. And uh, yeah, subscribe and click that bell icon. And I will catch you guys hopefully on yet another NASCAR diecast review.